I do two main documents. I build two, two well, we build three main documents. Three, you, yeah, the rule of three. The first one is what I call the product marketing prestation, which is a kind of a high level. This is what we use internally to bring, uh, bring everybody up to speed with what the product is about, the story, the positioning. Um, the second one is this messaging document that I went over earlier. And the third one is that will basically be translated into the marketing plan. So the, that product marketing prestation is very critical because it's when um, I romantize a bit the, the product story. The product team will come up with a great presentation to tell me in their own words what the product is about. And my role is to make it a bit more consumer friendly. When I work with the team, we look at the consumer segments and, uh, and the target audience. And as we build it, we try to look for visuals. You know, so the, the design team is really helpful for that to say, okay, you're looking, looking, Loic, you're looking for new to wireless. It will look like this. The fan seaters will look like this. And an upgrader will look like this. Usually, I like to add a, a part of how you demo the product. So I meet with the uh, engineering team, as an example, to validate all the features, making sure that's how, that my instructions are correct. Okay. And, uh, and then I develop the value proposition. Uh, and usually the value proposition is for it's another value proposition, and then we break it down in three pieces: the value proposition for the consumer, the value proposition for store public, and the value proposition for the our partners, retailers. The value proposition for the consumer was, of course, the fact that they could have the first wireless in ears that they can wear all day. For store public, you know, it's kind of why we're doing this, and it was an opportunity for us to enter the market with a great product. And for the retailers was uh, the opportunity to capture a new target audience. They were serving uh, the sports people very well with a lot of great products out there. The, techno, the technophile who basically used those devices more to make calls rather than listen to music. And clearly there was a, a, an underserved segment, the music lovers, people who basically don't want to make compromise in terms of style and, and audio quality. And that product was filling that gap.